Hi guys, welcome back to our video. So we just got this bike and after three days of not riding it, the battery is flat. Uh, generally, it's due to the IU. So today we got to disassemble the bike a little bit and then to connect your IU to ignition. So by default, whenever you bought a bike, uh, the IU is always on, as you can see here. Especially when you're riding a smaller bike with a smaller capacity battery and you're not a daily rider, that creates a lot of issue. Unless you have a kickstarter, kickstart your bike, generally you have to call a tow or you have to take out the battery to charge. So today what we're going to do here is to remove this cover and then access to the battery. The key thing is to access to the battery and also your fuse box. To reconnect your IU back to your ignition, only you turn on your ignition, your IU will be on. First thing you need to find out is where is your battery and then secondly you need to find out where is your fuse box. Usually your battery and your fuse box are pretty close. So we take this out, uh, put it one side. So here we can see that the battery, so which is a small unit, this is your IU line, the white one. Okay, the negative goes to the negative, the positive goes to the positive. And then these are your two fields. Here they label main and sub. So here we will try to take this wire linked to this fuse. So this is your positive line. We will need to trim a little bit longer with a scissors. And then we will use the subfuse as a point to kickstart the bike. Attach this around the edge of the fuse. Oh, fuse. We will try to turn it on and then to see if the IU is connected. Okay, so the IU is connected. If it's turn off. Mm -hmm. okay, we put it at the sub that's still sort of connected. I guess the mistake here is we should read the manual, the diagram. Because the Honda Wave I is equated with a Kickstarter, so we did not put much effort on the rewiring. So in the end, we just keep it that way. So we have just done with the engine oil change on this Honda Wave. We need to swap out the spark plug and also probably swap the air filter because the air filter must be quite dirty after a certain mileage so it must be quite dirty so if you have the opportunity you will swap it out so first off we need to open up this cover and then we will see the spark plug cover here so just take this out so use your spark plug remover tool to go in use a wrench to loosen it. It's not very tight so it can be loosened by hand. So you don't need a lot of uh, strength to loosen this. It looks like it's still in very good shape. So this is the new one and the old one. It looks pretty good to me but since we brought a new one so we why not we just change it. So same thing uh, you can put your hand in and then uh, do a hand tightening. So now this is the maximum hand tightening and then all you need to do is another quarter turn. Okay, then not forgetting to cover back your emission plug. And now we want to try whether the, it works. So far so good. It does work. But the emission is very weak so probably it's the air filter uh, we gotta swap it out and see whether it will be the same thank you for watching this video see you on the next one bye bye